What's up guys, welcome to another video. I hope you guys are all doing good. In this video, we're gonna break down the South African YouTuber which got attacked at her kindergarten by her HR manager. So without further ado, guys, let's get straight into today's video. Hello, my name is Nolu Sendiso. I'm from South Africa. I'm currently based in Shanghai, China. Mm. Okay. And I work as a kindergarten teacher. On Wednesday, August 23rd, during a disagreement, the HR manager at my job, a guy, punched me on my face. Jesus After Christ. After he punched me and I was screaming, trying to get him, trying to get out of his office, he pushed me down on the couch telling me that I needed to sit down. I screamed and I was trying to get my phone so I can take pictures and videos of what was happening. Instead, he grabbed my phone and said he didn't have my phone anymore. I don't know how I got out of the office, but somehow I got out. And I was first of all i think that this chinese hr manager should be fired because you cannot punch a kindergarten teacher at school that is violence against women and even like the kids safety so the chinese government or even like the, what the teachers board at the school should come in and fire this person that's that's the first thing that i i'm just thinking of then the second thing also this feels a little bit racially charged because if this was a white woman it happened to in China, people go crazy. I know if this was a Swedish woman, blonde hair, blue eyes, and she released a video like this, the internet would go insane. Just look at all of the Me Too women which have came out and told their stories. I mean, Harvey Weinstein is no longer working. Running in the passage of this kindergarten, trying to get help. There were various women there. All of them just watched and did nothing. I managed to run to the stairs, but by the time I got to the stairs, he was already there. And he was preventing me from going past him. I was screaming, but he was pulling me, preventing me from leaving. I don't know. One more thing that I have to add to this is why move to china you already know that most of like chinese people are super racist so why move there not all of them i'm not saying all of china is racist but brother what i've seen in social media and i've seen like how they've treated black people why move there so this is a little bit i'm not attacking the victim but it's a little bit of fault by her because i'm saying if you already know that this is an abusive person. Guess what? That's going to happen. I know. I can say 100%. I'm not going to China. I think us as black people, we have to be a little more firm. And we have to say no, enough is enough. And stop visiting countries which we have heard in history have been super racist. Just stop. What came to my head, but I thought about a different exit. And I ran towards the different exit, but he was chasing me. And during the time that he was chasing me, he was singing a song, humming a song. As he is chasing her, his dog whistling. That is a different kind of psychopath. As though to distract me in case so that I can fall and he can catch me. I managed to get out of the building and there was another lady outside the building shouting for the, for the security's officers to close the gate so I wouldn't get out. But what happened is the security officer made a mistake. Instead of closing the gate, he opened the gate. And then I... Imagine doing that. Imagine, now this is just totally off the books, but you're a security guard. You see like somebody's running towards you. Let's say you're working at a jail, right? And instead of closing the door, you open it. That's crazy. But it's good that you got away at least. That's just a joke. I'm not attacking the victim. I ran managing to get out by the time i got out i had no shoes on no socks on they had taken my phone i had no bag on it was just me and nothing on my hands i didn't know what to do so i started walking on the streets and i came across a young chinese lady I asked her if she speak english and she said yes i asked her to call the cops mm. she called the cops the cops arrived and we went at least she experienced kindness from a chinese person that's good at least back to the kindergarten when we arrived at the kindergarten, they had gathered everything that belonged to me in a table. 
telling me that the reason why they were preventing me from leaving is because they wanted me to come down so they can call the cops to resolve the issue if despite the fact that i wasn't feeling safe and that is why i wanted to run away then the guy who had punched me told brother this is a kindergarten teacher kindergarten where there are little kids running around and the hr manager is punching people in their face <laughs> the told the cops that he did not punch me that i hit my eye on the couch i asked listen and how can you hit your eye on the couch you see like with black people and this is the thing right we do not have bruises like white people we don't usually if you get bruised as a black person people can't really see it that happens to a lot of kids which get beaten at home they have bruises but it's nothing that really people take seriously like what in Africa usually if you get beaten at home you just get beaten at home they don't really see that so as a black person if you're bruised like she is bruised and you can see he clenched his fist and just went in bro you can see that that's that's 100% somebody which got punched in the face. Them to release the CCTV footage yeah. of the building while I was running. And they said they don't have it. If they don't have it, they're guilty. We went to the police station. At the police station, the vice principal who saw everything happened said that she didn't see anything. And that when this guy might have hit me, she was on the phone, so she didn't see anything. When I arrived there, the cops basically told me that my visa is expiring next week and oh. I do not have proof that this guy has hit me and therefore I needed to settle. Feeling like I didn't have a choice, I ended up settling for compensation. I'm making this video because I'm making this video because there are so many of us out here who are suffering under the hands of our employers who continue to disobey the law and treat us very poorly. And I'm also making this video because I feel very powerless in this situation. They told me that if I talk to anybody or go to the media about the situation then they would sue me and i would have to go to jail or get deported they also threatened to put me on some teacher's blacklist in china so that i would never get a job in china bro the teacher's blacklist no pun intended is crazy bro they also refused to give me any documents that would allow me to work anywhere else in china during this moment but I'm not okay with just keeping quiet and pretending that this is okay and there's nothing happened. And I hope if you're seeing this video, you pass it to as many people as possible so that people know that this happens to me. To this video, um, honestly, I think it was unfair how this woman was treated. If this was a white woman, probably the world would have gone nuts over this. But then again, you can see the blatant racism. Um, China is no country which I'm even planning on traveling to in the near future just because I've seen so much from China and I've seen so, so many videos like this where they're just treating black people like sheep or cattle. They don't really care about us as black people and I just feel like why go to a place where they're just gonna disrespect me? There's no, there's no point. I could probably travel in the future to China and what I maybe meet a Chinese person which warps my reality but I do not think that that's going to happen I think this is ingrained in their culture and this is just how they treat foreigners or not even foreigners I would say black people because this is an isolated incident this is a black woman which got assaulted at work punched in her face Bruh, it's just crazy. But uh, anyway, 
leave it in the comment section, guys. What do you guys think? Do you think that this was a racially charged incident or do you think that this Chinese man just all of a sudden decided to to punch a black woman just because he thought it was fun? I think it was racially charged, but then again, I could be wrong. Leave it in the comment section. Tell me what you guys think and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.